Hello everyone and welcome back to Kentucky Garden Gal. This is Nancy and in this week's video I want to go around my uh, little town where I live. This isn't my hometown but I have lived here for the last 30 years and it's a historic town in South Central Kentucky and I wanted to show you some of the beautiful uh, flowers and pollinator gardens at churches, libraries, even the post office, things like that because the people who do this, mainly our local garden club and our renaissance committee, they do just an excellent job and you know we should always uh, take the time to stop and smell the roses if we see something beautiful, share it. So that's what I want to do today in this video. So let's just start out with the, uh, we're at the historic square. This is the courthouse and I will walk around and show you some of the areas that we have, sort of what it looks like. And I'll try to walk as steady as I can. And first of all, notice that our sidewalks were taken up many years ago and bricks were put down. And I think that this really has improved uh, the looks of the square. We have benches in place. And there's a lot of events that are held right here. This is the entrance with the beautiful impatience. And then if you're going to cross the street, this is what it looks like. Even the, uh, the pavers have gone across the street. You see some lantana there. And as you notice around the storefronts, we do have pots of flowers and that is provided and maintained by the Renaissance. And um, a lady by the name of Kim Roberts does that. She's done an excellent job. Before her was Amy Biggs, and they just have done an excellent job on revitalizing our little town and emphasizing the beauty that we have here. Now we're in Kentucky, so you'll see this horseshoe course. Uh, this is a pavilion that was donated many, many years ago by the Rotary Club, if I'm not mistaken. And this is a great place to have events. But we have a school teacher who is a welder, Jeremy Lovall. If you're watching, shout out to Jeremy. And he has uh, come up with the most creative ways to bring welding. He has come up with a creative way to, to give back to his community. And we just have all sorts of these type things made. We have a huge fork in the road. We have a spoon. We have a spaceship. We have uh, multiple horses. I think there may be three like this, and they all have names. And this one actually gets decorated for the season. So it's always cute to see what this horse is going to look like. Uh, just something that we do. You'll notice the cute flags that we have that they change out seasonally. Probably one of my favorite things is at Christmas time, we really have a Victorian Christmas here on the square. And at the courthouse, uh, there's always music playing. I think it plays through the week, maybe not on the weekends, but at Christmas time, a lot of the shops have open houses. We have small town Christmas, and they may even have like uh, people dressed in Victorian costumes, strolling, caroling. So they really do put a lot of effort into using the square and everything here is free. You know, it's a place where you can bring your family and your friends. In June and July, we have free concerts on the square and they uh, built this pavilion here. There's two dance floors, one for the children, one for the adults. They have these beautiful lights that are strung up. And on a Friday night, 
this entire area is just packed with people. On Thursday night, we have a car club that comes and lines up uh, back here. And so you can look at all the cars, but this just recently went, uh, they did a upgrade on this. So this is really nice. The, the flowers haven't been planted probably more than two weeks. So this is called the Courtyard Bandstand. And also, this is a great place for weddings. I have actually performed a wedding here. So just so many options that you can use this for. And we'll just, and this is, let's see, give a shout out to Ground Control for the lawn care and the landscaping. Good job. So we'll just see what the backside looks like. And then I want to walk across the street to the Methodist Church. I think it is a beautiful, beautiful church. And let's look back here first. A nice shady area where you can just come and sit. And for many years, Franklin was known for men who would come and sit on these benches and whittle. They were called the whittlers. And there's prints that you can still uh, buy that um, that shows that so let's head over to the Methodist Church but first guess who got married in the Methodist Church Johnny Cash and June Carter they were married here in 1968 walked right up the front there but what I want to show you is the courtyard of this church and they always have absolutely gorgeous oak leaf hydrangeas. Their um, oak leaf hydrangeas are coming in and they are just absolutely stunning at Christmas time. The church is decked out inside and out and it is just simply beautiful. But we'll walk around this corner and then we'll go back down. But look how pretty that is. Look at that limelight. That is just gorgeous. That is a limelight. That is an oak leaf. So very, very pretty. Those are crepe myrtles there by that door. But I wanted to show you one of the newer additions. They have decorated their sign. And look how beautiful this looks. Isn't that just gorgeous? There's a gentleman um, in the Methodist Church who's a very good gardener. His name is Dan Coates, and he has taken it upon himself to do all of this. But just look at all of the bees on that. Look at that. Look how gorgeous we have the milkweed back here. This is just absolutely gorgeous. They had a bench placed, but this has really uh, grown into a beautiful display, and obviously the pollinators are just beautiful. Now from this corner, you can see the building that houses uh, City Hall, but part of it is for Regions Bank, but that is where our City Hall is, and you can see they have the flags up for the 4th of July. So let's walk down to the courtyard. They have, they have other areas uh, at this church, but I think the courtyard is just especially beautiful. So let's just take a walk down there. But it's so nice when you can just come up if you just want to, well, lots of people walk their dogs or just walk for exercise. And they have a little free library. I love those. There's actually another one on the south side of the square that the library um, keeps filled. But look at this beautiful, beautiful courtyard. Look at these lilies. Oh my goodness.
goodness. Check out this lily. Look at the blooms. That is spectacular. Oh, that is gorgeous. It is so pretty. A little bench to sit. They have their containers. But I think this little um, courtyard is just stunning. So next, let's walk over to the Presbyterian Church, which is next door, and then along this sidewalk, you see their lilies. But doesn't it make the biggest difference when we attempt to beautify and we just take care of and you know, keep things planted, keep the trash picked up. It really does make a big difference. How are you? Hi there. I'm good. There's Franklin's favorite. So this is the old Presbyterian Church. And I think it is just a spectacular building. But I want to take you around back. I'll show you the entrance. And then I want to take you around back and show you their courtyard. The beautiful stained glass windows. So we walk this way. I'm not sure when this church was built, but it is just stunning. They added an addition. This is called the cornerstone and you can rent this for different events but this is the courtyard for the cornerstone they installed the gazebo and you can see different things here in this beautiful How pretty this is. There's the butterfly bush. There's a bench with an archway to sit on. The liatris is blooming. Have some ground cover there. And then they have also landscaped here. But isn't this nice? It was built in 2013. And it really does get a lot of use in our community. So the next place we are going to go look at is the old jail, which is across the street from the History Center. But the Garden Club has installed an absolutely gorgeous pollinator garden there. So let's go take a peek at that. So here we are. This is uh, part of the Simpson County Historical Society. So they have this building, the old jail, and then across the street, they have this entire building, which is just absolutely amazing. It's free. Uh, you can become a member. I think Cameron and I are we have a family membership, it might be $25 a year, and every month they have they host an event where it's always something very interesting and the displays change frequently. You can, uh, you can use the facility if you wanna host a meeting. I don't think they charge anything for that, but I have to give them uh, the congratulations because they have absolutely done an amazing job and there's so many people that have volunteered their time and so many people in the community have donated artifacts. It just tells Simpson County's history, which is, which is a wonderful heritage. So if you're ever in this area, please make sure you get in there and see what they've got going on. But for now, we are going to look at 
the butterfly garden that is also a certified monarch way station and this was put in and maintained by the garden club and rose bates a dear friend dear friend she is the one who oversees this but i want you to notice uh, the, the paintings first uh, another uh, good friend Gina Rowland Payne. She is an artist. She's actually a nurse and in her spare time she paints. So she did all of this explaining the life cycle of a butterfly and if I have an opportunity I will show you. She took, uh, we have two big dumpster type trash cans in Franklin and she took those and painted them and they are just adorable so she took something that was an eyesore and actually made it attractive but first of all let's look at um, their signage so there you go they have water there for the butterflies they have everything uh, labeled in here you see sedum back here milkweed there's a honeysuckle there growing up. Of course, the cone flowers are echinacea. Have a little butterfly there. And they actually do this in two more places. And I do want to take you and show these to you because they simply do such a wonderful job. And not only providing uh, a place for the pollinators, but to just beautify our town. The Russian sage, that's one of my favorite, the daisies, just absolutely gorgeous. So next, we will go down to the library and look at their pollinator garden, and then we'll hop over to the post office and look at theirs. Before I leave this square, there's one other thing that I want to show you. I'm here at our local restaurant, The Brickyard, and I want to show you what they did to beautify an alley. It is just absolutely gorgeous. And just by chance, a friend of mine happened to paint this. But look, this is next door to a garage. But look how beautiful this is. Look at this. Is that not absolutely stunning? Donna Davis Carter painted this. We do have a jailer who um, has a very successful trustee program, so we do have a lot of help in the community from the trustees, but look at that. There's a little bougainvillea sitting in there. But isn't this mural just, mural just beautiful? So a big shout out to Eric Vaughn at the Justice Center because he does send out um, trustees on a daily basis to help beautify things. But look at that. So we are now at the Good Night Memorial Library. And recently, this has undergone a massive um, project. They restored it, they added on to it because it also houses a theater. So we're only going to walk around and look at the flowers. The flowers are maintained by the Garden Club. So we'll kind of look around at that and see what they have planted. And again, this is for pollinators and they do have, um, they have everything named. So if you are where you can and you want to come out and look at these and see what they have chosen as far as pollinator plants, everything is labeled. And if you will notice, the bees are just on everything. The bees are just simply on everything, but we will walk around this garden fairly quick because there's a lot to it and then there's still two more places that I wanna show you. But look at this, isn't this just beautiful? And 
this is a very popular place after school. They have a lot of programs here, really catering to uh, to children with young with young children and their families. But this little triangle here is just beautiful. Now the house that you see right here, this is the Ella Hoy Goodnight House and she donated the house and the library to the city of franklin and that actually houses our chamber of commerce and maybe a couple other um, offices but you see the fence the original fence and the, the facade the front facade is just beautiful but i believe they are taking they've got the front doors taken down probably for so we won't go look at that. But look, just more Rudebeckia, Bebom, it goes all the way around. This looks like some natural habitats. Notice how they have the wood in here, the logs. See, they have a place for water over there and if you notice that is just the base of a pot with some stones in it sitting on a stump and then you just fill it up with water I'm sure somebody comes by at a certain time of the day and fills all of these up because I do see them out here working on it but this continues to go around Now this was the first thing that the Garden Club took it upon themselves to do and unfortunately it had to be taken out when they did the addition but it's this is maybe the second year for it I'm not sure if it's even that long but it's coming back just beautifully and this actually is the entrance to our bookstore but look how beautiful all of this is. So that is our library planted and maintained by the Garden Club with pollinators. We are now at the Boys and Girls Club. Actually, we're at their garden and it's called the Hawkham Garden after Mr. Hawkham who passed away, but he was very influential in creating this for the children. And all I'm going to do, oh goodness, it is absolutely gorgeous. Guys, this is done by the children. I mean, look at this. Is this not amazing? These children plant maintain and harvest this and you'll see right over there they have a little area where you can come down and you can buy their vegetables but the children of the community do this and they just have everything it is just amazing to me and i follow their facebook page and i love to see the children out working in the garden but look at those sweet peas and those tomatoes. Look at the bees. Isn't that wonderful? You know you're doing it right when you have the pollinators, but it looks like they're expanding. They've added a little section over there. There is a no trespassing sign up, so I'm a little bit nervous to be in here, but I do know the lady that does the garden. So Kristen, if you're watching, you're doing an excellent job. But I wanted to show you this and then we will next go and look at our post office. We are here at the post office. There's our flags and we will look through this garden. And like I said before, uh, this garden is also planted and maintained by the Franklin Garden Club. 
So if you happen to see any of those members, you make sure and tell them thank you because they have just done and are doing an excellent job. But we'll walk around and look at this. And again, these are planted for pollinators. If you're going to get out and you're going to plant, why not make it count and help, help our pollinators? There's different st uh, styles of gardens here. you can really beautify an area. Got something there. I'm not sure what the pot is for, but uh, it's a habitat of some type, I'm sure. This looks like prairie grasses out here. And I've done a uh, video before, but they are also have different flowers and how they've done this but I hope you've enjoyed this video I hope you've enjoyed seeing um, our town through my eyes and if you're watching this and you're one of the people who work so hard to keep everything so beautiful thank you and thanks everyone for watching have a blessed day